a young man went over to another Jew at a wedding. He said, you remember me? He said, I don't remember you. Who are you? He introduces himself. He says, ah, you were my student. Third grade, you were my student. Yeah. Wow, I haven't seen you in so many years. How is your life? What are you involved in? He says, I'm a teacher. He says, wow, just like me. What inspired you to become a teacher? What inspired me to become a teacher was you. He said, how did I inspire you to become a teacher? I saw what an impact you had on me. I realized what an impact I can have on children. I decided to go into education. He said, what type of impact did I have on you? So he said, I'll remind you, but I'm sure you remember the story. There was one day that one of my friends got himself, his mother or father bought him a beautiful wristwatch, and I dreamt for a watch, and I didn't afford one. So I decided to steal his watch. He had it in his pocket. I took his watch, I stole it. He came into class, he saw somebody stole his watch. He came complaining to the teacher, somebody stole his watch. So you made an announcement. Whoever took this boy's watch, please return it. I was too embarrassed and I didn't want to return it, so I didn't return it. So you locked the door and you said, I'm going to have to line everybody up and empty their pockets in order to get back the watch. And that's what you did. And I thought to myself, this is going to be the most shameful moment of my life. And then you said, all boys line up at the wall, but I want everybody to have their eyes closed. Everybody's eyes must be closed. And you went from pocket to pocket, and everybody's eyes were closed. And then you came to my pocket, and you found the watch, and you took it out, and you went through everybody's pockets with everybody's eyes closed. And then you said, okay, everybody can open their eyes. You gave the watch back to its owner. And you never, ever said a word to me throughout the entire year. You never mentioned the story. You never mentioned the episode. And when I thought to myself how you saved my dignity that day, instead of being stereotyped as a ganev, as a thief, as a chakran, as a lawyer, as a no-goodnik, as a despicable child, you really saved my soul. You saved my dignity. And you never mentioned a word, not only to anybody else, not only to the owner, but even to me. It was, it happened, it's over, I understood the message, and when I looked at that, I saw it, I said, wow, this is what a teacher is, this is what a real educator is, this is what I want to do with my life, and therefore I went into education. And the teacher is listening to him, and he says, wow, that's amazing, <laughs> that's really amazing, but he says, but Rebbe, you don't remember, you don't remember the story? Like when you see me and you hear my name, I'm sure you remember the story that I stole the watch and what you did and you didn't want to embarrass me. You had everybody's eyes closed. And I'm the person. He says, actually, I don't know. I, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know the story. He says, why not? Like, it's a pretty dramatic story. He says, because I also closed my eyes. So I want to bless you and bless all of us that we should be able to uh, be such such leaders, such teachers, such parents, such educators, such mashpiyim, to be able to be there for people in this way. The Yeshiva.net 